Hey folks, I wanted to give you guys an update on the Dolby Center spread issue that I brought up a week or two ago. So for those of you that have not followed these videos, there's a feature in the Dolby DSU, the Dolby Upmixer for Atmos receivers called Center Spread. And it's a useful feature when you're upmixing two channel sources, either for music or for cinema. So if you're doing it for cinema, you leave the center spread off and a lot of that left right information goes right into the center channel and it gives you an anchored center channel so you get the dialogue better. But that's a problem with music because two channel music, you don't want to have that left plus right all dumped to the center channel because it kills the imaging from the front channels. That's why Dolby had a feature called center spread. Well, I've noticed that some of the newer receivers like the new Denons no longer have the center spread feature. And initially, we were all under the impression that Dolby changed their licensing agreement that center spread has been taking out. And that's not entirely the case from what I've been finding out. So basically, any new receiver or any existing receiver that gets a new update to do the Dolby height virtualization feature, that's for people that don't use Atmos height uh, speakers, discrete speakers, or the bouncy house kind. If you want to simulate height with Dolby's virtual height algorithm, it doesn't populate center spread. So when a vendor is, is, is uh, licensing Dolby Atmos, they either, they either license Dolby Atmos, the original Dolby Atmos with center spread, or they license Dolby Atmos with the Dolby height virtualization. It's not an AND function, it's an OR function. So unfortunately, center spread is taken out with Dolby height virtualization. And I'm basically putting this challenge out if Dolby's watching or if anybody's watching that's interested, maybe it's possible that Dolby can turn back the center spread as an option. So when people aren't using the Dolby height virtualization, we could have that feature back. Because anybody that these days that are using discrete speakers in a 5.1.4 kind of setup or above, they don't want the height virtualization because they've got discrete speakers, but we still need the center spread. So I hope you found this information useful. Um, please like the video, share it. Don't forget about our Patreon at patreon.com slash audioholics. We're giving away free headphones on our Patreon channel to all Patreon members. So if you join our Patreon channel, it's a guarantee. Check out what we're giving away now by joining our Patreon. And until next time, my friends, keep listening. Hey folks, I wanted to do an update on the Dolby Center Spread feature that we talked about uh, about a week ago. So Dolby Center Spread is um, basically, is it dying? No, it's okay. going. Don't stop. We'll do that again.